You're here because you want to do alternator circuit testing. Start with a vehicle-specific wiring diagram. The alternator output goes directly to the battery, and on this system, the PCM controls the alternator through an L terminal and monitors the load through an F terminal. Make sure you know which system you're working on by using a vehicle-specific wiring diagram. On a system that uses an L-term, make sure that the signal from the PCM to the alternator is present. On some vehicles, the signal will be battery voltage. On others, it will be near 5 volts, 4.5 to 5 volts. A note from the research department, make sure that your replacement alternator is the right one. If you have an alternator looking for 12 volts and it gets 5, it's not going to charge. Make sure you get the right replacement alternator. If there isn't a signal at the L terminal, check at the output terminal of the PCM. If the signal is coming out of the PCM but not reaching the L terminal of the alternator, find the problem in the wiring and make the re Notice here that this alternator does not have an F terminal. On some systems, they have an F terminal. And you're going to have to check for a duty cycle at that terminal. If the duty cycle is zero, the alternator isn't charging, and you're going to have to replace it.